हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डी होप आप सभी का प्रिपरेशन बहुत अच्छे से चल रहा है होप यू आर रिवाइजिंग एवरीथिंग एंड यू प्रैक्टिसिंग द टेस्ट एज वेल तो वन टिप व्हाट आई वांट टू गिव यू इज मेक श्योर यू एनालाइज द टेस्ट प्रॉपरली यू एनालाइज द मिस्टेक्स प्रॉपरली एंड मेक ए नोट ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट यू हैव मेड मिस्टेक और द थिंग्स विच यू थिंक आर इम्पॉर्टेंट मेक ए नोट्स ऑफ दम those will be very those you know those things it will be very handy for you in the last phase of your revision be just before the exam okay to chaliye ab hum continue karte hain hamare revision series ke sath from science and technology to is lecture mein hum start kar rahe hain agriculture and biotechnology se to yahan pe hum pehle cover karte hain first about the blight disease in rice uske baad hum baat karte hain bt cotton ke bare mein after that hum dekhte hain bt cowpea उसके बाद आई ने एक यू नो लॉन्च किया फ्यूसिकॉन्ट के व्हाट इज़ दैट फ्यूसिकॉन्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट दैट आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट कॉप्रोलाइट आफ्टर दैट हम देखते हैं सैलमोनीला के बारे में आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट पैराक्वेट यू नो वी विल वी लुक एट ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स यू नो होलिस्टिकली तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट ब्लाइट डिसीज इन राइस तो दिस ब्लाइट डिसीज यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज This is what is the blight disease. It spoils the crops. It is found in rice as well as in potatoes. Also, this blight disease is found as well as in potatoes. So, a strain of rhizo rhizocotnia solani. It is the fungi pathogen that causes the blight disease in rice. Okay, remember this rhizocotnia solani. This is the fungal pathogen that causes the blight disease in rice. Rhizocotnia solani. Next one, BD cotton. so you know no one thing in india bt cotton is the only genetically modified crop that is allowed to cultivate the government has given permission only for bt cotton okay bt brinjal everything a lot of uh, you know genetically modified varieties are there but the permission is there only for bt cotton now who gives the permission for this the ministry of environment the genetically engineering appraisal committee will be there the committee will you know forward that proposal to the ministry of environment and final decision will be given by the ministry of environment forest and climate change okay so uh, as i told you bt cotton remains the only gm crop which is allowed to be cultivated in india so this is developed by a us giant bayer monsanto bt cotton is developed by the us com company bayer monsanto this is a very large company okay it also manufactures lot of seeds that is why this is a large company and the modification codes are done so why this is important is that the modifications are done in such a way that it produces a toxic protein you know a protein it produces which is toxic to the pink ball worm you know you can see this image this is the pink ball worm this is a very big problem for the farmers who cultivate the co cotton crop so for that what they have done is they have genetically modified the structure in such a way that it produces a protein which is toxic to this pink ball worm so when it is toxic to that pink ball worm when the pink ball worm come and consume that they will die automatically so that is why this is important the commercial release was sanctioned by the government in 2002 in 2002 the commercial release was sanctioned next one bt cowpea so nigeria has become the first country in the world to approve the genetically modified bt cowpea bt cowpea nigeria is the first country to approve that it's a pest resistant and combat malnutrition rate so these days we are talking about food fortification and all we will we will talk about food fortification a bit later but you have to understand that you know through through the biotechnology what we are trying to do is we are trying to make sure that we address the malnutrition aspects also in the developing countries in the developed and underdeveloped countries especially okay so this bt cowpea it is a, it is a genetically modified cowpea okay it's it's pest resistant and combat malnutrition rate it contains a transgene CR by 1 AB. This is the transgene, it, but you know this this contains this transgene and the people who are against it. There will be lot of people who will be against these things. What the claim is that this BT cowpea, the, with, it contains this transgene and this transgene it is toxic for human cells. It is toxic for human. It is a carcinogenic. It causes cancer and lot of other things because when when it was tried in the lab. the animals which have consumed this they have faced problems so this is how it will be tested so when the animals face problems that means it is harmful for us also most probably that is why the, there are groups which are against this bt cowpea next one 
the icar fusicont the icar fusicont this is created by indian council for agriculture icar it has created this fusicont what is this this is a pest control medicine or you can say this is the pest con this is a pest control pesticide why it was developed it was developed to control the disease called panama wilt you can see this this image this is panama wilt so this is damaging the banana crops this is damaging the banana crops so in order to make sure we protect our banana crops the icar indian council for agriculture research has developed this icar fusicont which is a pesticide you know because of this fusicont recently more than 50% of crop is lost 50% of crop is lost you know losing more than 50% crop is very you know it, this is very harmful for the farmers you know farmers depend on these crops if more than 50% of crop is lost that means the farmer go into deep debts okay so this was icr fusicont it is to control the disease called panama wilt panama wilt remember next one coprolite what is this coprolite the coprolites are the ficus fossils so normally we will talk about fossils fossils are the remains the remains of the dead animals which have died long ago so coprolite is nothing but the ficus of those dead animals the ficus remains of the dead animals or the animals which have died long ago so these are fossil ficus belonging to the animals that lived millions of years ago so this can be analyzed to study their the ficus can be analyzed to study their shape size and depending on the location where they are found we can analyze the type of animals that used to live and the type of animals that they used to consume so because of that we will know whether you now over time over the course of history whether there are any genetic changes in that animal or the food pattern changes are there in that animal we will know all of those details by studying the coprolite coprolite is the fossil ficus belonging to animals fossil ficus next one salmonella so recently mdh masala as you all know this is very famous company of india so this this has tested positive for salmonella you know in us it was tested positive for salmonella what is salmonella salmonella is a group of bacteria it's a group of bacteria that can cause food borne illness known as salmonellosis so when it is consumed this food borne illness that means the illness caused by consuming food you know this is caused by the consuming this mdh masalas okay that is why this was in news next one paraquat so para what is paraquat it is used as herbicide primarily for toxic chemical weeds and grass control so this is used as herbicide killer so normally when a land is left barren or you know when you are using lot of pesticides or chemicals and all there will be lot of organic content deposition over the soil because of that what will happen there will be lot of weeds that will be growing weeds are the small useless plants that are growing along with the crops okay and what is the harmful effect of those weeds is that they will inhibit the growth of the crops they will consume the nutrition which is there in the soil they will consume that nutrition and they will not let they will not let the plant to grow they will not let the original crop to grow so that is why you know taking out of those weeds is very much important for the farmers so this is used as herbicide primarily for toxic chemicals weed and grass control paraquat also figures in the list of 99 pesticides and herbicides the supreme court to ban in the organic case so recently there were cases in front of supreme court for the ban of lot of pesticides and chemicals so paraquat is one among them okay consumers complain of kidney failure liver failure and lung problems because of this paraquat okay so that is why this was in news so now let's revise what we have studied so far so first we talked about the blight disease in rice so in order to control the blight disease the government is taking various steps so blight disease is caused by a strain rhizocotnia solani rhizocotnia solani so this caused the blight disease in rice as well as the potatoes okay next we talked about bt cotton bt cotton is the first genetically modified crop that was launched in india that was accepted in india in fact so that that's why this was in news so this was accepted by the minister of environment forest and climate change way back in 2002 okay in this this produces a toxic protein for the pink ballworm next one bt cowpea nigeria becomes the first country nigeria becomes the first country okay so to accept the bt cowpea bt is the so this is a genetically modified cowpea 
Next one, ICAR Physicont. So ICAR has launched the ICAR Physicont, which is a pesticide. So this pesticide is for the control the Panama wilt. Control the Panama wilt. Okay. So next one, coprolite. Coprolite is nothing but the fecus remains of the dead and fossil animals. Okay. Next, we talked about Salmonella. Salmonella is found in MDH masalas in US. So salmonella is a foodborne salmonellosis is a foodborne disease. Next we talked about paraquat. Paraquat is the herbicide killer. It's a herbicide killer. So recently there were a lot of cases in Supreme Court you know, for the ban of this paraquat. Okay. So that's it friends in this lecture. I'll see you again in the next lecture. Till then keep studying and stay tuned. Jai Hind.